Welcome to my off the grid, in the city, teeny tiny house life. My name is Rob Greenfield and I live here in San Diego, California without a single debt or bill to my name. It wasn't always this simple though. I used to have a half dozen credit cards, fair amount of debt and wanted to be a millionaire. But now my life is all about happiness, health and living for the benefit of the earth, my community and myself. I'm largely able to do this through simple living, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my simple place. So how do I not have a bill to my name yet have a sweet spot like this? In exchange for using someone's unused backyard, I'm building him a fence, rainwater harvesting system, a garden, doing yard work, and improving the place. Plus, he's just into what I'm doing and wanted to be a part of it. So, come on inside. So this is it. This is all 50 square feet of it. It's real simple, but it gets the job done. Uh, I don't spend most of my time in here, uh, but what I do in here is sleep, read, and cuddle. But most of my time I spend outside, either out in my community or out in the great outdoors. So this is it. I've got my possessions down to pretty much what you see here, but that's it. So let me show you the outside. How about off the grid? What does that mean? It simply means not dependent on public utilities. So here, I'm energy and water independent. These are the solar panels, which I use to charge up a couple of batteries. But I also harvest rainwater. Right here, you can see the gutters that I built on my neighbor's house. That just channels the water down into the downspout, then through the diverter into these blue barrels. And since I'm a couple feet higher up than my neighbor, I actually have to pump it out of those barrels using this pump into these five gallon jugs just like this and then dump these five gallon jugs into these barrels which can store 165 gallons of water of rain water and then to use it I just turn on the spigot and then I can use this for everything I need. This is my outdoor kitchen. Some people would just say I'm permanently camping and I have no problem with that. Uh, the, the rain that I collected goes into these jugs and then I pour that into the Berkey filter. And the water comes out of here uh, worry-free. No chemicals like chlorine or fluoride, arsenic, lead. It takes care of everything like that as well as bacteria, protozoa, and viruses. And then I fill up my cup and drink the purest water, at least the purest water around here and it is delicious. So this is the cabinet slash refrigerator and I don't need to refrigerate really because I buy my produce often and very fresh and everything I buy else I buy in bulk dried goods that I put in the jars. So you can see here all of my jarred food at the top which I get from the local co-op. Then below I have my kombucha, I have my staples like honey, olive oil, and then my spices, I have my produce uh, that I buy in small quantities often and uh, just two bowls and two plates and two forks and two spoons. So this is the kitchen sink and stove. It's pretty darn simple uh, but not a single drop of water goes to waste here at my home. When I wash the dishes or wash my hands or whatever I have to do the water goes down this little drain and into these five gallon buckets which I then use to water the garden. Uh, here at the stove it's just a simple propane stove which is hooked up to a five gallon propane tank. I used to use a rocket stove which was more environmentally friendly than this but what's good about this at least is that by not being hooked up to uh, the utilities where there's a seemingly infinite amount of, uh, of fuel I at least since it's a five gallon tank, really have to pay attention to and watch my usage, so I'm much less wasteful. So this is my bathroom. Welcome inside, it's very simple. The most important part of this is the toilet. The average American toilet uses 1.6 gallons per flush. Since I only have about two gallons of water per day total for everything, I can't have a flush toilet. This is a compost toilet. You simply sit on the toilet and you go just like any other toilet would but afterwards instead of flushing you grab some leaves and you put the leaves on top of your poo and then this goes into the compost also uh, there's a sink right here uh, this is just a, a basic sink that I can 
used to wash my hands and then this water of course is used to water the garden as well so very simple bathroom uh, this cost me about sixty dollars to put together next we'll head off to the compost in the typical house you would find food scraps as well as yard waste in a compost pile but here I'm doing humanure as well which is human poo and pee uh, if you're ever gonna do this I recommend checking out the humanure handbook which has all the important information in there it's important to do this right but the amazing thing is that it doesn't smell at all. I mean, it's important to heat the temperature up to at least, I think it's around 130 degrees. And as you can see here, there's actually steam rising. You can just feel the heat coming out of this. So everything breaks down and with humanure, you have to let it sit for an entire year. And this tarp, is simply over it to uh, keep the moisture in since I live in a dry climate. So uh, this is a great way to reduce your impact by not having uh, an agency or the city have to deal with your own poo and pee. Uh, instead I turn it into nutrients which will then be used in the garden. This is my favorite spot. This is my garden. What you see here these are called wicking beds which are really awesome for drought tolerant gardening and just making your water go further. Basically below here is a reservoir that's filled with rocks and there's burlap over that and there's soil over that and you water the reservoir below through the PVC pipe. Uh, I planted all of this food from starters about two weeks ago and it's looking great. I'm just excited to have organic, delicious, nutritious greens and this is another reason I don't need a refrigerator because my food will be growing right here and I'll just pick what I need when I need to eat it. So as far as city code goes, I'm actually pretty much in alignment there. Uh, as crazy as a lot of this may look, I'm doing pretty well. But for me, it's not actually city code that I follow. I follow earth code. It's about doing what's right for the earth, for my community, and for myself. And that's what's most important to me. You'll also probably have noticed by now that I don't actually have a shower here. And it might come as a surprise, but I actually have gone two years without showering. That would be pretty surprising to me two years ago as well as I had been an everyday showering dude. But I learned that you don't need to shower every day. Instead, I go for a swim in a natural body of water. And I learned that I don't need soaps and shampoos and conditioners and body washes and colognes and all that. My body functions just fine as it was intended to do. So I go for a swim here in the Pacific Ocean, which is five blocks away. Uh, and lastly, how do I get around? That would be my bamboo bicycle. I've actually biked across the country the last two summers in a, in a row on a bamboo bike. So biking around town, uh, not too big of a deal at all. But when I am feeling real tired or I have something to carry that doesn't fit on my bike trailer, I take an electric car through Car2Go, which is an electric car share program, because I sold my car about three years ago to live more environmentally friendly and just without so many bills. And as far as internet and cell phone goes, don't have either of those. Uh, when I do need to use the internet, I hop on my bike, ride to a cafe, and share internet with other people. Uh, so life is pretty good here and life is pretty simple.